Barakate Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rokakodash, or praises, honor, glory, power to Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and our Redeemer, the only begotten Son of our power the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. The reason why I'm able to open my mouth this hour, the reason why I have roof over my head, the reason why I have peace. Yes. The reason why I'm back in the good grace of Yahweh is because of our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, for the sacrifice that He made to bring the elect and Israel back to the Father, Yahweh. Because the Lord divorced us, our power, Yahweh, divorced us. He gave us a bill of divorce. He mentioned the book of Jeremiah, if, I could, if I'm right. Yes. But he sent his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. Yes. He sent him to redeem those that were under the laws. That's right. The Israelites. Those are the ones the statutes and the commandments were given to. Those are the ones that the Lord came to redeem, to bring back, to reconcile. Back to who? The power of Abraham, our forefather. The power of Isaac, our forefather. The power of Jacob. His name is Yahweh and his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. Family, again, it's your brother Malak coming to you with another lesson through the spirit. There's a bit of controversy in Israel right now. But family, we know that the song that the Lord has given us in the last days that we'll be singing, the song that he mentioned in the book of Revelation chapter 14 and Psalm 40 verse 3. That's right, the new song that we're going to be singing in this last days. Family, not everybody is going to be singing that song. So we know that not everybody has the song. The Lord made it clear. But he said in the book of Revelation that there were there are 144,000 will have that song in their mouth. And we hope that we are the 144,000 governors which is going to be ruling. 12,000 from each tribe under Yahweh's side. And that's what we're working towards. Working on our own salvation with fear and trembling. Yes, the controversy was that the family that I think was HOI. House of House of Israel. Is it House of Israel? H O I is house. Yeah, I think it's some more. Somebody from Israel were teaching that family that the Lord is only coming to save 144,000 people. No, Lord, that is a lie. Yeah, we're gonna bring the precepts. No, the Lord is merciful. That's why family, the I'm gonna open this lesson through the spirit. If I didn't say it, family, first and foremost, let's give shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect. That's right, the ones that are actually taking heed to this beautiful song that we are singing. What is the song? What is the song? Somebody's probably asked, what is the song? This song that we are singing, family, this is the gospel of the, of the, of the kingdom. That's right. That's why Yahweh I came and preached. He preached the gospel of the kingdom, family. This lyrics, the lyrics, family, only few of our people are going to be singing that song. They're going to know the lyrics to this song. What are the lyrics, family? Let's get into it. The, the, the 144, they're going to be teaching that, yes, the mark of the beast is coming, which is mentioned in the book of Revelation chapter, six, chapter 13, verse 16. That's right. Which is going to be a physical mark under your skin, family. We are telling you that's what 144,000 is going to be singing. That's right. The 144,000 family is going to be singing. Eh? That there's famine coming. That's right. 
Food shortages, that's what they're going to be singing. They're going to be singing that there's third world war coming. They're going to tell you that America is going to be destroyed. Nobody's going to be live on that land. That's the song that they will be singing in the last days. That is the gospel of the kingdom which we're going to be preaching. Family, we thank the Lord for putting this song in our mouth because we know that we didn't get this in the plantation Christianity. They kept us what? In the dark. Mm? They continue to preach prosperity gospel. Family, the kingdom is about to be wiped off this map. Their rulership and age, that's right. The Esau's rulership, the Edomite rulership, the so-called white family is about to be translated to the Israelite. This is what is coming. And this is the song that the 144,000 governors will be singing in the last days. To what? To wake up the elect, to comfort the elect. That is why family, we're going to jump to Isaiah 40. Verse 1. Yes, family, the Lord is not just coming to save 144,000 men. No. How are we going to bring back the two thirds? Majority of these people are going to be saved. The large multitude are going to be mostly women, family. So anybody out there teaching that the Lord is only saving 144,000 family, they don't have the song. They don't have the new song that the Lord has put, up, put in the mouth of the prophets in the last days. And we thank the Lord, Yahweh, for not forgetting his people. Everything that he said was going to happen, happened. He says we'll be discontinued from our heritage. Mentioned in the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Didn't that how it happened, right? It says we're going to be known on the streets. We are, we're going to be called by words and all type of names. Didn't that happen? Aren't you still referring to yourself black? African American, Negro, Caribbean, Jamaican? Everything the Lord says in the book of Deuteronomy, the curses, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, it came to pass. The same law that says that what we're going to be what? We're going to remember ourselves. Mention the book of Baruch. It says in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves and call upon my name. Isn't that the same thing that's happening right now? That's right. The Lord is just. The Lord is merciful, full of tender mercy. Isaiah chapter 40, family, let's glorify the Lord. Listen to this. The Lord is not only coming to save the 144 men. No, there will be, there will be a large multitude. The ones that were picked before the foundation of the earth, family, the elect. Yes, they're going to be women. They're going to be pregnant women. They're going to be ba women with babies. They will, they're going to be blind people, lame people, family. That is the song. That we are singing in the last days. Comforting our people. The elect. It says Isaiah 40 verse 10. Now let's go. Let's, let's, let's go for Isaiah 40 verse 1. It says Com comfort. Comfort ye. Comfort ye. My people. Says your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Jerusalem are the Israelites. Jerusalem were people before it became a place. And cry unto her, meaning what? Preach, tell her. It says here, that her warfare, warfare, the Lord was at war with us. He gave us into the hand of these nations to punish us. He divorced us. He says here, her warfare is accomplished, meaning what? It is over. He says here, that her iniquity is pardoned. Our sins are forgiven. For she have received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. That's what the Lord is saying. It says, speak comfortably. Remind my people. Hmm? That their warfare is accomplished. And that's what we should be singing. We should not be putting fear in our people. Telling them that, oh, no. But nobody, no. Only 144,000 people are going to be saved. No! Where is that written in the Bible? It has to be precept upon precept, family. Let's, family, it's all about the receipt. Let's go to Isaiah 40, verse 10. It says here, Behold, the Lord will come with strong hand. Who is the Lord's strong hand? Yahweh Shai. Who is coming in what? His chariot. 
Revelation chapter 1 verse 17. Uh, sorry, verse 7 down. I could be wrong. But it's somewhere in Revelation chapter... Is it Revelation chapter... Yeah, I think Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. He says, Behold, the Lord will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. That's right. The right hand of the Lord is who? Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, and his work before him. He says here, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Are you listening to this? He shall gently lead those that are with young. Let's go to the book of Revelation 7, 9. Revelation Revelation 7, verse 9, it says here. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude. Family, the Lord is going to have mercy on a lot of us. That's right. The 144,000 plus a large multitude. Family, if anybody's out there teaching that the Lord is only saving 144,000 family, stay far away from them. They don't have the new song. The song that the Lord put in our mouth in these last days. That's right. Not the nonsense, the teaching and Christ, uh, plantation Christianity. No. The white supremacy. No. Telling us that our savior is blue eyes, blonde hair, pale skin. No. Anybody teaching that family, stay far away from them. The power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That's the power that we call upon. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son is Yahweh's child. Family, those two names are the strong tower that we've been calling upon. The moment we started calling upon those names, family, our eyes were wide open. Everything makes sense now. When we were in the church calling on the name of Jesus, 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 family, we were lost. But we have a name now. That's why I said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and is safe. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms. Palms simply means victory. In their hands, family. The Lord is going to have mercy on his people. The Lord is not only coming to save 144,000 men. No. A large multitude. Verse 10, it says, And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai. That's right. The Lord is just. Family, this, 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 I don't know what's happening in Israel right now, but family, our people are lost. This is what the Lord is saying about these prophets. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 13. Ezekiel 13. It says, verse 1, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesied and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. These people found me, they're teaching the word out of their own hearts. Precepts taught by men. They are not going through the Bible. It's a son of man prophesied against, you hear the word against? Against the prophets of Israel. They are prophesied. And say thou unto them, tell them that prophecy, uh, prophesy out of their own heart, meaning their own mind, family. Hear ye the word of the Lord. The Lord said, listen, listen carefully. The Lord said, tell these prophets that are out there preaching that only 144,000 people are going to be saved. Especially the time that we are in. No, family. 
We can't be singing that song. No, we can't be singing that. We should be telling our people how the Lord is coming. What is coming down the pipe? How Yahweh is going to redeem them out of here? We know that the so-called UFOs are the lost chariots. This is the song that we have to be singing unto our people, the elect of Israel. That your Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, is coming in those chariots. That's the song that we are singing. It says here, verse, 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 verse 3, it says, That says the Lord, Woe unto the foolish prophets that followed their own spirit and have seen nothing. Are you listening to this? It says destruction unto these false prophets that are trying to deceive our people. The same thing that they did to us in the Christian church that the Lord pulled us out of that nonsense. The same prophets are still out there preaching nonsense. It says here, O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. The hedges, the protection, telling them that don't take the M-A-R-K, the chip that is coming, that's going right under your skin. This is the hedges that we have to be telling our people. This is how, they, that's, this is how they're going to know. That's part of the hedges, telling them don't take this. Because if you take this, the next chapter, Revelation 14, tells you that the Lord is going to destroy you. This is the hedge that we have to put around the elect. But they are not doing it. They are not doing it. So the Lord said, woe to them that are not, you know, telling our people what is coming. Telling them, don't do ABC. Telling them that third world war is coming. Telling them that, that yes, the devil is going to come down with great wrath. Because he knows that what? He has but a short time. Revelation 12, 12. To what? Implement his new order. But we know that his new world order is going to fail. We have to tell our, our people, the elect, tell them that the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming with thousands and thousands of chariots to redeem his elect. There's nothing these devils are going to do to prevent it. That's why they're all preparing for third world war. And then after that war, family, there will be no other war. They actually think that they're going to come out of their bunkers and rule. No. Uh, the book of Daniel chapter 2 verse 44 tells you, Yahweh Shai is coming to take down all the kingdom. That is what is coming. And this is what we're supposed to be singing. This is the new song the Lord put in our mouth to be telling our people, the elect of Israel, Yes, that's the good news. That's the good news. Let's go to Psalm 43. I know I mentioned the, the, the new song, the new song. Let's go to Psalm 43. Actually, no. Let's go to Psalm 1, uh, the controversy, Psalm 14. Psalm 14. No, what am I saying? Revelation 14. Sorry, Revelation 14. It says here, and I look, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name, Yahweh, mm -hmm. written on their foreheads, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the name that we're going to be calling upon. That hundred and forty-four thousand, those are the ruling governors. All men, twelve thousand from each tribe, twelve tribe of Jacob. These are the governors, family. He says here, and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of great thunder and I heard the voice of harpers happening with their harps. He says here, verse 3, and they sung as it were a new song. That's the song that we are singing right now. The song. This doctrine. The doctrine of what? The kingdom of heaven. This is it. This is what we are singing, family. Telling you that these devils, they know what we are singing. The elite know, but the majority of the people are lost. They know their kingdom is coming to an end. The third world war, this is what we're supposed to be telling you. The famine, the chaos that is coming. We are living in a time of prophecy. This is the song that we'll be singing in the last days. This is what the Lord is referring to. Let's go. It says here. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. Because family, we had, a, we had a, the doctrine of Christianity.
That was the song. The doctrine was what? A rapture that it was, it was our Lord, Yahweh was born by, by a virgin. That's right. And uh, the fruit that uh, Eve ate was what? An apple. That's right. That's the doctrine. That's the nonsense that they taught us. But family, we have the new song. But this song here, family, not everybody can sing it. The new doctrine. It says, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four bees and the elders and no man could learn the song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. That's right. This song here is not for everybody. This doctrine, the doctrine of the kingdom of heaven. Family, not everybody is going to be singing this song here. It made it clear here. It says here, verse 4, it says, These are they which were not defiled with women. Women simply goes back to spiritual it's philosophy, doctrine. We're not defiled by this doctrine, this Africanism, a Muslim, Hindu, all this philosophy. No, we were not defiled by that. Those, 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 uh, those women, that's what the Lord is saying here. It's not saying that they never had sex. No, that's not what the Lord is saying. The women is referring to what? Wisdom of this world and their philosophies. This is the song that we are singing in this last day. Family, we didn't like this in the church. It says, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. That's right. Virgin, the only thing is what? We, virgin, they've never been taught by these stupid, wicked uh, philosophies. It says, it says, these are they which follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruit unto our power and to the Lamb. The first fruit family, you know what that means? The prophets of old are back here. This were with Yahweh Shai. From the beginning. Family, this, 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 what we are involved in, family, don't take it lightly. Meaning the prophets of old are back in their lot. This is serious. And preaching the word, the kingdom, preaching the kingdom of heaven. Yes. It's going to be on this planet. It's going to be rule in righteousness. That's what is coming. Family, let's jump into another precept. Remember the book says precept must be upon precept. And line upon line, here a little, there a little. Let's go to the book of Psalm 40, verse 3. Psalm 40, verse 3 says here. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. It says here, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. The many are the elect. They're going to hear this word and what? And then they will be afraid. And guess what? They're going to repent. And turn to the Lord. Because with the fact that we are preaching that what? America, the only the land is going to be destroyed. Israel is going to be destroyed. Those two, we know for sure. But family, part of the world, part of the land around the world. Family, I don't know how the Lord is going to do it. But it's going to be destroyed. But family, the entire earth is not going to be destroyed. But America, Babylon the Great, prophesied throughout the book. Family is going to be turned to ashes. This is the song that we are singing in these last days. That the elite that will be hiding in their bunkers, they're going to be the first fruit, eh? the first crop of, this, of slavery. That's right, the first crop, the elite. The one that you see right now, the richest men in the world, whatever their names are, family, they are going straight into slavery. That's the new song that we are singing. And that's what is coming. That's the song. The song is the doctrine that Yahweh, along with Yahweh Shai, put in our mouth to be singing, to comfort his people, to tell them that their warfare is accomplished. Eh? And it's going to have mercy on Jacob once again. Salvation is coming. It doesn't matter whether our women, whether they are pregnant, eh? with young babies, the Lord is going to save them. It says here, actually, let me, let me get the lame. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Please bear with me. It says there's another precept that I wanted to 
Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> the book of Jeremiah. <coughs> excuse me. The book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31. Uh, I think it's somewhere verse 8. It says here, Behold, I will bring them from the north country, which is America, and gather them from the coast of the earth, every corner that they are, they are the elect are, family. It says here, And with them the blind, you hear that? The blind hmm? and the lame. Hmm? The woman with child and hair that travaileth. That's right. The pregnant woman that's about to pop a baby, family, the Lord is going to redeem the family. The salvation that is coming is going to be glorious. So then don't let nobody put fear in your, your heart. Telling you that only 144 family, 144,000 men are going to be delivered. How are we supposed to bring back the, the nations? No, family, the Lord, no. The Lord is full of tender mercy. Lame, blind, if you the elect, the Lord is going to bring you. The Lord is going to have mercy on a large multitude. Let's read it. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them, the blind, the lame, the woman with child and hair that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping and with supplication will I lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in straight way wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel. Hmm? And Ephraim is my firstborn. Family, you listen to this. <clears throat> the Lord is going to save his people. Doesn't matter what these people and these nations are saying. We are preaching that. We are telling you that what? They're going to come down. The mark. The system is going to collapse. The financial system is going to collapse. Everything is going to go digital. And then through that the, the digitalization of the economy, they're going to force you to take the CHIP. Mm -hmm. which is going to go under your skin, but you're not going to take it because somehow, some way, the Lord is going to raise a standard. He's going to save us out of it. This is, the, this is what you have to believe. This is the song that we are singing. This is the new doctrine that the Lord has put in our mouth to warn his people, family, to warn his people. So anybody teaching contrary to this family, they are not with us. They are not with us. They are hirelings. They only worry about their pockets. They know the truth, but they hide in it. But that's okay. Family, we're going to do the work of the Lord. We're going to tell you exactly what it is. We're not going to beat around the bush. We're going to give it to whatever the Lord feeds us in the spirit. We're going to tell you. Things are not going to get easier. Things are going to get tough. But we know that through it, the Lord is going to save us. He says, what? Because you have kept my patience, I will also keep you in the, in the hour of temptation which shall come upon the entire world. Roughly, Paraphrasing inside joke. <clears throat> Family, the Lord is going to have mercy on his people. Family, sometimes when you're down, there's a, it's a scripture that I always go to. Family, let's go to the book of uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 2. Let's pick it up from... <clears throat> man. Second Ezra chapter 2. Let's pick it up from verse... Mm, Verse 42. It says here. And I, Ezra, this is Ezra. This is when the, the angel Uriel visit Ezra to show Ezra what's going to happen in the last days. Mm -hmm. He says, I, Ezra, second Ezra, family, the entire book of Ezra is a beautiful book, second, which can be found in the Apocrypha. If you get a chance, read it. You see, it's all about the end days, what's going to happen to Israel during our captivities and the end, how, how the Lord is going to get us out of this place. The Third World War, also mentioned in the book of Second Ezra's family. This is the song that we are singing in the last days to comfort our people, the elect. Yes, because families, it's hard for our people to actually see that they're going to win. Once in their lifetime, they're going to actually be the head and never the tail. But this is what we're telling you is coming. It is coming. These nations have nothing to do with it. They can't control it. Family, the Lord wrote this movie long time ago. Listen to that. He gave everybody their part. He is the director, the producer, the executive producer, eh? the, 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 the camera. Family, he controlled every aspect of this movie. Eh? He chose the bad guy. He chose the good guy. Hmm? 
Family, this movie, the script, the way it was written, family, it was rigged for us to win. Family, that's all I'm going to tell you. It was rigged from the beginning for us, the Israelite, to win. These nations have nothing to do with it. It is the Lord that shows mercy. Who am I? Family, that's why family, we are blessed. We are blessed. But you can't you can have weak knees. This is the time to family, yeah, to gird your loins. Eh? Stand up. Call upon your power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Those two names, family, is going to put terror in the hearts of these nations. Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. He says here, 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. He says, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with song. This is the end, family. A great people. He couldn't number. He saw a large multitude, family. Not just 144,000. No, 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 no. Large multitude. Let's continue. It says here, verse 43. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. Hmm? And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. Can you, who do you think that young man is? Taller than everybody. Hey, eh? taller than everybody, high stature, family, laying crown on the hundred and forty-four thousand. Family, who do you think that is? Let's continue, family. This is what this here should comfort you. He says here, he said, crown. The crown represents sovereignty, family, because that's what we're going to be doing in the kingdom. That's why right. we're going to rule these nations. He said, the men are going to be what. The kings, that's right. The priests, that's what is coming. It says here, verse 44, it says, So I asked the angel, listen to this family, pay attention. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing. Family, the mortal clothing, you can take this back. That's why precept must be upon precept. You have to jump to our first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 down. Didn't Apostle Paul says what? We're all gonna be changed. That's right. We're all gonna be changed. He says, in a twinkling, twinkling. No, it says in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we are all going to be changed. That's what he's saying. We're gonna put off the mortal, meaning this dead body, this wicked body that family is subject to sin every day. Family, we're gonna put it off. This body that is subject to death, we're going to put it off. This is what the book of Ezra is saying. Family, Apostle Paul said that too. He says here, he answered me and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, meaning this sick, weakly body, eh? subject to death. Family, now we have taken it off. Now we have put on here. Let's continue. He says here, clothing and put on the immortal. Meaning what? We are no longer subject to death. All pain, tears, everything is wiped away. Family, this is what Ezra saw. Family, this is what Ezra saw. So family, this thing here was written. Family, we already gotten the victory. He says here, This be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of our power. What is the name of our power, family? We conf confessing Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those two names, family. This is what, the, this is what Ezra is saying. He says, this be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name, the name, the name, the name of our power. What's the name? Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. These two names are going to put fear in the heart of this nation. Family says here, yeah, now are they crowned and receive palms. Palms mean victory. Family, the victory is already written for us. That's right. So Ezra saw a large multitude too. Revelation also told us a large multitude. So where are these people getting off to saying that only 144,000 people are going to be saved? He says here, verse 4, he says, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is that crowneth them? I said, Who is that young man putting crown on all these people? And then he here, family says, And giveth them palms in their hands. Oh, family, let's hear what the angel said. Hmm. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of our power. Who is the son of our power? Yahweh Shai. 
He says here, whom they have confessed in the world. Hmm? The world, that's what we're doing. Hey, aren't we conf confessing the name of our power? And it's only begotten saying, Yahweh Shai? Family, he said, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name, the name, the name of the Lord. He says he commend them that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. He says, then the angel said unto me, go thy way and tell my people, who are the Lord's people? The Israelites. What manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord, thy power, thou hast seen. Family, we are rich. The Lord is coming to save his elect. The Lord is coming to save his elect. And there is nothing these nations can do about it. Family, we are rich like the book of Revelation. The Revelation said, Yahweh Shai himself said it. This word, the word that he has put it, this new song, this, this, this doctrine that we are preaching, family, the comfort, what it does to your spirit, family, you're almost like invested. You can feel like you can walk on water. What it does to your spirit, family, no matter what these devils are about to do, family, we're going to stay, we are going to pray that the Lord will guide us. Yes. Will comfort us because he said it. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. Family, this truth here, it makes you rich. It says here, I know thy works and tribulation. The stuff that we all, we are all going through. It doesn't matter what it is. And poverty, but thou art rich. How are we rich, family? This is the gospel of the kingdom and the Lord gave it to us. The kingdom family. Because from that one point, nothing made sense to us. We were searching, searching. Today, there's a black life matter. We join it. Tomorrow, there's black consciousness. We join it. The following day is black panther. We join it. Muslim blood brotherhood. We join it. Family, we were everywhere. Because we wanted to belong to something. We asked you ourselves, why is it that only us, this, this so-called, the so-called black, we don't call ourselves that name anymore. The so-called black, that's what we use, the so-called black. How come we can never come together? How come we have other nations coming to our community and building, hey? Eh? making money off us, sending their kids to the best schools. And then we continue to ask ourselves, when we open a business, it doesn't really last long. Why is that? Because this wasn't our rest. The Lord sent us here to serve these nations because we refuse to keep his laws and his statutes and his commandments. That's why we could not prosper. There was no way. It was rigged against us. The Lord wasn't going to allow us to get comfortable. Yes, there are a few of us that have done well in this society. The so majority of them sold their soul. But for the for, 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 uh, I mean, <clears throat> for the most part, every country that you go, into, you go into, majority of the time, our people are at the bottom of society. Those are the curses that followed us. But now, in these last days, the Lord has blessed us tremendously with this truth. The gospel of the kingdom that is coming for his elect. We thank the Lord. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukar Kodash. I want to go to the book. Let's finish off with the prayer of Tobit. Let's go to the book of Tobit. Um, Tobit 13. Pick it up from verse 10. It says here, Give praise to the Lord, Yahweh, for he is good. And praise the everlasting king. 
that his tabernacle may be builded in thee again with joy and let him make joyful there in thee those that are captives and love in thee forever those that are miserable. It says many nations shall come from far to the name of the Lord power with gifts in their hands even gifts to the king of heaven. All generations shall praise thee with great joy. Family, that's what is coming for us, Lord willing. All these nations are going to flock to Jerusalem. We have to teach them the laws and the statutes because we is going to be in our hearts automatically. We're going to know it. But in order to bring this earth back into the state that it used to be, they have to know the laws because they're going to keep every single one of it. And if they don't, family, that's right. That's why this Lord said we're going to rule them with what? Rod of iron. They're going to learn it. That's what is coming. Because family, when the king is on his throne and his, command, and, and, and his commander's family, they're going to execute everything. Eh? Because Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be pure righteousness. You think you're going to be eating rats, mouth, all kind of abomination? No. Lobster, shrimp? No. Those days are gone. You think a boy can just get up and change their sex? No. Those days are gone. It is going to be full with pure righteousness. And that's, the, that's what we are waiting for. Yahweh to come and bring order to this world. Because this world, there's no order. Family, you can do whatever your heart desire. We want order. And this is what we preach. And this is the gospel that we're preaching in these last days. This is the new song that we are singing. Toby chapter 13, verse 12. It says, Curse are all they which hate thee, and blessed shall all be which love thee forever. You listen to this? Any nation that hate us, that curse us, family, guess what? There ain't going to be no rain. If we say there ain't going to be no rain in their land, they're not going to have any rain. That's simple. He says here, verse 13, it says, Rejoice! And be glad for the children of the just. For they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the just. How shall is coming to gather us? All praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He's coming to gather us, family. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. It says here. It says, bless, oh, bless are they which love thee. For they shall rejoice in, the, in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful for all thy scourges. For they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. He says, let my soul bless the Most High, the great King. For Jerusalem, family, listen to this. Verse 16 says, for Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stone, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. Family, Jerusalem is going to be beautiful. That's why you have to wait. You see, those who living on the land, calling themselves the people of the, of the book, wait to see what the Lord is about to do to that land. That's why we, the Lord is going to carry us in those chariots to that land. So you wait, sit back, and watch what the Lord is about to do to that land, that particular land in America, and their kingdom. Everything attached to this society, the Lord, Yahweh, He's sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, along with the angels to come and destroy it and establish his kingdom. You can get, you can get that from the book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 44, family. He says here, verse, verse 17 says here, Toby 13, verse 17 says here, and the street of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of Ophir and all her streets shall say hallelujah and they shall praise him saying blessed be our power which have extolled it forever family you hear that jerusalem is going to be beautiful jerusalem is going to be beautiful family let's finish off with uh, matthew 24 matthew 24 so yes family the lord is not just coming to save <coughs> excuse me 144,000 men no 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 Family, there will be a large, huge, large multitude, whichever way you want to say it, you know. Matthew 24, let's go to 31. Family, it says here, Matthew 24, verse 31. 
uh, it says, actually, no, verse 20 now. Let's start from verse 20 now. Let's we we close it here. Matthew 24, verse 20. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, the tribulation, the famine, the third world war, everything that's happening, that's right. The chaos. Hmm? Yes, family. This place is going to be upside down. It's a day of gloominess. A day of sorrow. The whole year, family. It says here, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened. You won't see the sun, family. And the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. Family, you're going to see the smoke is going to cover the, uh, the war that's going to be going on. The smoke is literally going to cover the sun. The moon, family, not is going to be just pure darkness. It says here, yeah. and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The rulership of this kingdom, your presidents, your kings, family, they're not going to have any answer for what is coming. It says here, yeah, verse 30, and they, and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. That's when we scream, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Family, listen to this. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. Who is the son of man? Yahweh, Shai. It says here. Yeah. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in, in the clouds with heaven, with power and great glory. Family, it's going to be breaking news. It doesn't matter where you are on this planet, family, you're going to see the man, our king, coming from the east and visiting the west, which is America. Yahweh Shai is coming with thousands of angels in the so-called UFO, the chariots of the Lord. That's what is coming. Let's continue. It says here, um, verse 31, it says here, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect. So the Lord is coming. He's going to give direction. because you, the angels. This is what I want you to do. Go to these corners and gather mine elect. The Lord is not coming for everybody. He's elect into the chariot family. He says here, And he shall send his angels with great sound of trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Hmm? Family, it doesn't matter whether you are pregnant, whether you are blind, you can't walk, you are in a wheelchair. Family, the salvation, the, the, how the Lord is going to get us out of this place is going to be beautiful. That's why the book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, it said the strangeness of his salvation is going to be far beyond what everybody is expecting. Just roughly, Paraphrasing inside joke. Family, it doesn't matter whether um, um, uh, uh, you are pregnant, eh? you are ha about to have a baby, eh? you are with young child, your young children, family, the Lord, if you are the elect, the Lord is going to save you. That's right. So I don't know where the, what these people are talking about. The Lord is only coming to save 144,000 people. No, 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 no. Men, no, 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 no. Family, the Lord is merciful. That's why it says, speak ye comf comfortably to my people. Must well go back and finish there. Um, Isaiah 40, again, Isaiah 40, verse 1. It says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. Says your power. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Eh? And cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she have received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Yes, we went off, the Lord punishes, but the Lord is going to have mercy on his elect once again. I will leave it there, family. I hope you were edified. Okay, we proved the family, we proved it way, this is way beyond reasonable uh, doubt, family. The Lord is coming to see his 144,000, yes, plus. A large multitude. Okay, family? So, be comforted. Be comforted. This song here, we're never going to stop singing this beautiful song. We are almost out of here. Okay, we're almost out of here. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, Shalom, beloved.